Hello there. In this lecture, we'll see how to uh, log into a Spark Shell and what are the contents or what are the variables which are available in the Spark Shell. Uh, let me just uh, go to the Spark installation directory, which is my setup. In my setup, I have Spark 2.1 location. Now that we are in a 2.1 uh, installation, and you can see a directory called bin. Just going to cd bin, and you can use dot slash spark hyphen shell which will take us into a spark shell and when the spark shell is uh, uh, launching right uh, you can see a couple of uh, messages which are uh, uh, very very important uh, in the learning stage or the beginning stage of your spark uh, career and uh, you can uh, there are certain variables available uh, uh, to use within the spark shell uh, those variables will be initialized when the spark shell is being launched for example you can see here uh, uh, there are two different variables right uh, spark context uh, which is available as a variable called sc and spark session which is available as a variable spark apart from that you can also see uh, master as local uh, star and app id as uh, some name right so uh, these are the basic requirements uh, uh, for any spark job to run one is either you have to have a spark context or you have to have spark uh, session and apart from these two uh, any of this uh, spark context or spark session you should have uh, you should declare uh, you should inform the spark uh, whether you are learning in what kind of mode whether you are running in a standalone mode or a yarn mode or a yarn client mode or a yarn cluster mode right those things you have to mention and you, you should also mention uh, what is your uh, uh, app id or your uh, job id right these three are the important things whenever you are uh, writing your spark job but when you are running your spark shell all these things are taken care by your uh, spark installation itself you don't have to worry about it so as soon as you are into your spark shell you can directly uh, use these uh, variables and you can go ahead and your uh, you can do your stuff and apart from these two things you can also see one more thing which is a spark web ui right uh, this is where you can see all the DAG and visualization of your uh, job uh, from the Sparks perspective, where your stages begin and where your uh, tasks begin and where your tasks and the, all these things will be there. Right? I'll explain. I'll take up this uh, Spark Web UI uh, in in my uh, completely in a new uh, uh, video where I'll try to explain now all your uh, 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 how the Web UI works and uh, what you have to look when you are running a Web UI. Those kind of stuff I'll take up in the next uh, uh, video. And now, uh, for now, you can see there are these uh, these these things as important. You can consider these things as very important. And uh, and uh, see as any of the Spark shell, uh, any of the uh, shells available, right? Uh, Spark shell is also uh, almost similar to any of the shells. Supports if you want to get any help in your. Uh, 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 terminal or a shell you can just uh, type in colon help which will give you options uh, which are which are supported by your spark shell right and uh, suppose if uh, i said there are two different variables or two variables available in a spark shell out of the box right to see what are the types of those variables you can just type in colon type and space the variable name which is sc and it will print it will print out uh, uh, spa, what is the type of your spark uh, session and uh, similarly, if you want to check uh, your data type of your Spark a session, you can just type in type colon type space Spark, and it will show you the type of your. Um, this these two are the out of the box which are available in Spark uh, uh, when you are logging into Spark shell. Uh, when you are working with Spark two and uh, prior two version, I mean Spark one, uh, Spark one and Spark two, right? There is a, a major difference uh, when you log into the shells. Right, uh, three major difference I would say. One is Spark uh, 1.6 is compiled with the Scala version 2.10. This is the main version, main uh, difference. The other one is uh, Spark context is also available in uh, uh, 1.x version, but you'll not have, you'll not be seeing this uh, Spark session. Spark session is the new wrapper which is available from Spark 2. Uh, prior to the Spark uh, 2, we have something called SQL context. Instead of SQL context, it is being renamed as a Spark session. Okay, these uh, these three are the uh, differences which you have to observe whenever you log into your uh, uh, shells from 1.x and 2.x versions. 
uh, in this course i'll be uh, wherever possible i'll be showing you the differences between 1.x and 2.x and uh, most probably i'll try to uh, focus entire uh, uh, course on spark 2 version at the same time i'll try to show you what are the differences between spark 1 and spark 2 as well okay uh, now now that we have seen um, the help how to get the help and how to see the types of your uh, uh, variables uh, apart from this you can also see the history of the commands which you have executed uh, that you can get it with uh, colon uh, history which will uh, give you the history of the commands which are all executed okay um, these apart from this right uh, you can also see uh, like any other uh, spa, any other shells available uh, spark like uh, spark also provides auto completion feature uh, that is nothing but suppose uh, uh, there is a spark uh, right spark variable is available so i'll just uh, type in spe and give a tab it will uh, fill me that and it will also sh uh, show the predictions what are the other uh, uh, names are available with this particular uh, uh, with this particular name spark right and uh, suppose i want to use the spark and uh, i want to see what are the methods uh, which are available in the spark i can just give a dot and give a tab over here which will list what all the methods which are supported by the spark variable okay uh, so if i want to create an empty data frame i can just use empty data frame which will create an empty data frame of nothing it's just empty right so mm, this is a basic introduction of your uh, spark shell uh, which which will have by default will have uh, two variables which is a spark uh, context variable which is represented as sc and the spark session variable which is represented as spark okay uh, this is a just introduction about the spark shell guys and uh, that's it for this lecture and uh, see you in the next lecture bye